Doctor. This is Ojo Singh from Smartech, and today I'm going to show you guys how to do vertex painting. So vertex painting is, um, let's just say, um, it is commonly used while level designing and material creation. Of course, it's a part of the shader. So um, you can paint different things on top of your um, model on your polygonal model. Um, it works better if you if the model has more amount of vertices right that's why it's called vertex painting so as you can see if i paint the red color here it turns white i just made that very quickly just to set up a demo you know okay so what is why is this happening right so what is actually happening here is this much gold so um, when I started, oh, I open up the starter content and drag this S7 just called rock out, open up the material and added this line. So what is this saying? This is saying, take this base color, which was earlier like this, add a loop to it. So I'm blending between this base color and a value of one that is white based on the vertex color. It is the node vertex color and the red channel so where the red channel is painted white when i paint it it gives me a value near to one gradually fading off um that's how it works right so um it is giving me this value and it is saying wherever this red color is present just paint it so a much simpler way is take this paint this so it is saying when I'm painting these, I am saying that for the vertex color, these are red. And I'm going to show you guys RGB channels. RGB channels, let me paint that. Red channel. All right, so when these areas are painted red, and this thing, the places it is painted, the places this red channel has been painted you um add this number a value of one to those places right that is the most basic explanation and i'm going to show you guys how to do it now it's pretty simple i just showed you guys how to create a basic one but i'm going to show you guys how to um add a sand material on top of the rock so i'm going to delete this loop add this back in here First thing I'm going to do is let me just search for tissues sandstone. Yep, these two. And the best way is I think let me just open this up. Um these guys already gave us this much code. This is all in the starter content, alright so I'll just delete these. Now what I could do is I have my base color. I can love between the and this base color, love between the roughness value and the normal value or and the AO. Or I could just simply use material attributes here, right? And I can go here, make material attributes. Um this is my base color this is clearly my roughness i have my normal values right here and this is my ambient occlusion so now i'm going to copy this i'm going here now let's see this value is my normal this is my roughness and this is my base color all right so let me just get this base color and put this here and my roughness is here and my normal goes in there all right that's it that's all there is to do so now we have two separate material shaders in one and now we want to blend it blend between them like we would do in a loop so all you do is right click blend material attributes right and just put this in the beer remember 
because the rock is going to be our base and on top of that we want our sand it's actually going to be a pretty quick one and make material attributes now I'd like to show you guys something let's just say we want a custom darker shade in some areas of the rock what do we do we press a loop just hold L alright and put this in here now I like to say take this blue color and put this in here so actually in my green I'm going to use my green so in this is for my red when I wherever I paint my red channel um, the sand will show up on top of the rock and uh, by default it's all white alright so no need to worry we can change that very quickly now in this case I'm saying whatever color the green channel provides you with whatever values just paint them right a simpler way would be to do this so the RGB color when I paint all three together it will have to paint it will see the color of the RGB value um, wherever it is painted it will uh, um, add the actual painted color so if I paint a yellow color here it will turn up as this value is let's just say I painted yellow then this value is yellow and you get in here and since I painted those area with the RG and B channel the alpha will show up as white we will save all and there we go now that's that now what do we do um, we want to see our base color you can just hold just select all of these and hold shift and remove this or you could go here I'm going to press ctrl Z what I'm going to do is set the paint color to black that means no color and fill the bucket and I'm going to draw the brush size let's just say I want to get my sand here that looks awesome right it's blending and all that good stuff um, and blue green whatever you want now when I paint the R G and B channels together here's our custom colors as you can see that's very different and very useful right so that's one major tool um, of the vertex that is vertex painting and let's just say i like to change my color just changing these values changes how it is going to blend with your material right so get some random values there that looks so much better right so that's all for this video if you liked it, press the like button, otherwise you know what to do. And you can um, press the subscribe button if you want to keep yourself updated um, about the new videos that I'm, I will be posting soon. And of course, you can press the share, right? Do share this video, alright? It's important. Goodbye.